I bought every single milk brand I could find in Singapore and we're gonna find out which one is the best. Okay, so the way we're gonna do this thing is we're gonna do a blind test. My assistant friendly over there is gonna help me pour a cup of milk. He's not gonna tell me which brand that he's pouring me, but I'm gonna taste it and then I'm gonna review it and guess which brand it is. Just like most Asians, I am lactose intolerant, so there's not gonna be the uh, greatest of uh, toilet sessions after this. Give me the first milk that we're gonna blind test and cleanse my palate. Smells, oh this one smells really cheesy. Visually, like it's quite viscous, not the thickest milk ever, but it's, let's taste it. This one's quite a, quite a sweet milk. Not as sweet as I know HL is, but like quite sweet. It's quite nice actually, this one. I really do like that. But it, it does have a quite a cheesy aftertaste, you know what I mean? Let me guess, this one is, um, I think, I have a feeling this is green fields. No, it's Paul's. Paul's fresh milk. Well, I'm definitely giving this more like a seven out of 10. It's, it's quite decent, it's, it's good milk. Okay, so what milk is this? It's a bit, brown, more brown in colour than the last one. Smells less cheesy than the Paul's. A lot more watery, a lot less thick, a lot less rich. Also less sweet of a milk than the Paul's. I think I know what this one is. I think this one is, oh, it's either, I think this is Magnolia. Is it? I'm wrong, it's Farmhouse. I should go to my gut. I did think it was Farmhouse at first, then I was like, I think Magnolia is like not sweet, right? But maybe Magnolia is a bit sweeter than that. But it's, it's quite good. Okay, so we're on to the next glass of milk now. This one smells definitely creamier than the last one. A lot, definitely not as cheesy as the, as the, as Paul's. The first one. Oh, this is like, it's watery, but it's not bland. Like there is flavour, but it's more watery than the last two that we've tried. This is either Magnolia or Meiji. I think it's Meiji. Oh, it's Piora! Oh, it's not, this one is definitely the least sweet so far as well. It's also the least thick, the most watery one so far. I, I think this is okay. I would, I'll give this like a 6.5 out of 10. It's definitely not as good as Farmhouse or Paul's. Right, my stomach acting up already and I'm only on awful. The colour and the viscosity of this fourth one. I think I already know which one this is. It's HL, right? Yeah, it's HL. I don't need to say, this one is hit. I am right, I am right. Give me the box. HL's milk, baby. There you go. Look, the thing about HL milk is that it's like yellowish and in the right light, it looks kind of green. This is absolutely the bodybuilder's favorite. Best stats and protein wise. It tastes like milk formula. Milk number five. Oh, I think I know which one this is. Extremely watery. Definitely like salty and cheesy aftertaste kind of note and smell. Like you look at the colour of this, uh, this is number what, five? Yeah, this is number five. This is Fair Price. This is Fair Price House brand. If it's not, it's Greenfield. I'm wrong? It's Yatsu. Oh my god. I, the Hokkaido milk is not worth it. It's all placebo. It's really, it's like watery and salty. I, I am not getting any of these right. I thought I would get some of these right. So this is Yatsubo Hokkaido milk. I am not a fan of this. It's too salty. It's a bit too cheesy. And it's also not that thick or creamy. Give me the next milk. My palate is not as well defined as I thought. Protein burps. I'm gonna have acne tomorrow, just my whole body. It smells like milk. It doesn't really smell particularly cheesy or anything. Like, you know, some milks have that mozzarella smell or cheddar smell almost. It's not super thick, but it's not watery watery. What's less? The, the, the few left is Greenfields, Magnolia, and Meiji. This is, this is Magnolia. Is it? I can't be wrong about Magnolia so many times. I, it's Greenfield. Oh my God. I grew up drinking Magnolia. I can't even taste it correctly. I think that's the lesson to be learned here. It's too close to tell. This one's okay. I, I personally think it's nice. It's not really harsh or strong in terms of taste or flavor or smell. And it's more like a, it's chill. It's a good daily drinker, I would say. All right, next one. I'm gonna vomit. I actually gonna. Vomit. This is what number? How many are there left? It's Magnolia, Packet, and Meiji left, right? I know Meiji doesn't taste like this. I I know Magnolia doesn't taste like this. This is like the the, the other Japanese one that came in a small packet. Am I right? Yeah. There you go. I'm right. It's good. This is better than the Yatsubo Hokkaido one. If you're getting Japanese milk, I think this is the one to go for. It's creamier. It's not cheesy or funky. Well, not as much as the other creamier ones so far. Like the early on, like Paul's, was it? It's like nice. It's not too sweet. I like this. This is this is probably my favorite milk so far. This one is visually normal, very white. Like some milks have a yellow tint, like HL for example. Some milks are a bit weird colored. It don't taste fine. I don't think this is Meiji. I really don't. I could be wrong, but I think this is. I think this is Magnolia. Please, please tell me. Please tell me it's Magnolia. I still got it. <laughs> God damn it. I will never figure out Magnolia. I'm going to call Magnolia Meiji, 100%. Oh no. All right, bring me the last two. Magnolia and Meiji, right? These two are the, the milk that I drank the most apart from HL in my life. 
So if I can't even distinguish between the two, I think I'm gonna fail. I think the thing, the problem is it's not a side-by-side -side test. Focus on all 9,000 taste buds here. Into my childhood memory. Is this Magnolia or is this Meiji? There's a, like a cheesy note to it. It is very like bland when, you're, when it's in your mouth, but once you swallow it, the aftertaste is like slightly cheesy with this one. And it's quite thick, but it's not super thick. It's not like um, Marks and Spencer's full cream milk thick. It's not like as thick as the first, first two. I don't know. I don't know if this is Magnolia or Meiji. Wait, I can definitely say I like this milk, but it's, it doesn't have that weird funk that Magnolia tends to have. It's Meiji. It's, it's Meiji. Am I right? No! <laughs> How can I guess Magnolia four times and still not fix? You know why? I drink Magnolia low fat. I'm blaming it on that. I drink for the low fat milk episode, I'll get it right. But I drink Magnolia low fat, not fresh milk. That's probably why. So it is Magnolia. I like it. And, and maybe that's why I like it so much. It's just something that I'm used to. The last one, of course, is Meiji milk. Oh yeah. I do know, by the way, that the Meiji uh, has a pasteurized one, which is in the bottles, and then it has like a carton one, which is not pasteurized or something like that. It's actually different, apparently. I don't know. But um, Meiji milk is the saltiest. I didn't realize that. It is really salty. No more salty than like the fair price one. It's very salty. It's like, it's not super creamy, but it's not like watery and bland. I don't know. It's okay. It's like a solid four or five out of ten and really not that good. Okay, so let's bring the milks all up. <laughs> I feel like vomiting. <laughs> so, in conclusion then, which milk was my favourite, which milk was my least favourite, and which one will I use as my main milk from now on? Now, my favourite was definitely the Hokkaido Specialty Milk. It's the nicest and most satisfying to drink. Is it better than my all-time favourite, Marks & Spencer's Whole Milk? No, but while it's expensive, it's not as expensive as Marks & Spencer's Whole Milk, so probably a better choice in terms of value. But it's not going to be my daily driver. My personal favourite for being a daily driver that I will drink day in and day out with no issues and complaints, probably going to be Paul's milk from now on. It's the milkiest, it's not smelly, it's not offensive on the senses, it doesn't have that cheesiness or saltiness, and because I don't really like salty, cheesy tasting milks, this is the one I prefer for that. It's also like a good balance, it's not too creamy that I couldn't drink it every single day. My least favourite milk will be hands down fair price, though Meiji comes a close second for being so salty, but that's all personal preference. I think fair price milk isn't very good, maybe it's just a batch that I got, but it's really smelly, really salty and it's just really cheesy. It's not smelly in a spoiled way, it's just funky, you know what I mean? Like funky. Of course, milk will vary from batch to batch depending on their cow's health or their supplier or their sources. But I hope we learned a lot today about the different brands of milks, their different characteristics. And one thing will always forever remain consistent, HL will taste like shit. Frankly, the differences are so minimal as well that honestly, I wouldn't have any issues drinking most of these milks on a daily basis. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And well, and if you have any other ideas for future videos, put them down in the comments below. I'd love to hear your feedback and love to hear your ideas. And uh, I'll see you guys around.